Hello and welcome back to my channel. Long time that I didn't upload anything new. And this time I'm bringing back a new tip for Substance Painter. And completely forgot on my last uh, Spanish session, uh, session about cleaning seams on, on Substance Painter. But of course, about other stuff, there is a lot of uh, other artists that, that talk about this stuff on ZBrush. But I'll be focused on Substance Painter. But what I, am I going to talk about right now is about the maps. So it's about seams. What is seams or what means seams? Seams are toast lines that create the maps where the the, uh, the folding gets together or stick together. So here right now I'm showing up how to check, check the seams right now. And the seams, you can see them on the cuts and when it's about baking you are going to see that that's going to happen on your model but I'm going to uh, show up how to fix this mistake or how to fix this small artifacts when you are creating artifacts and baking uh, in this case on Substance Painter so let's do that on the best way possible it's not a big trouble it's not impossible to fix you can use that Substance Painter. Right now I'm using Substance Painter, of course. And you can see that I already baked the maps um, around the web or YouTube. In this case, you can find out way more uh, tutorials to create the maps. So here um, we, ha we have the maps and we're going to work over the seams. And I'm going to put this material over it so you can check out what am I talking about. So. If you look really closer, you can check out the cuts. But let's go back to ZBrush and it's going to be the same cut from the seams from ZBrush to Substance Painter because I use ZBrush to create the automatic uh, normal maps or sorry, the UV maps. So if you use another material, it's almost impossible to see it or it's not visible. But when the material on Substance Painter or another uh, engine, uh, texturing engine, um, when you add texture, including the material, the materials, you're going to see the cuts. So you need to learn how to clean the cuts. So I was talking about a little bit um, of basic theory on it. So this is uh, one of my test models. A long time ago, I did this model for um, and a small challenge I put on me, but it's already done. I have curvature, I have ambient occlusion and normal maps. It's everything done. It's already done. It's already baked. And I don't need thickness and I don't need another stuff so far because I have a series, but in Spanish, uh, let me know in a comment if you want me to translate that into English because I didn't do that before because there is a lot of tutorials about um, uh, about how to do that in English from from very great artists. But why, what I, I don't see out there on YouTube is about um, how to clean seams. But for industry, seams is really important when you get into the industry you really need to be careful about that because you need to be almost perfect or perfectionist so no worries let's keep moving forward to clean that and the, uh, the best way possible to do this is to get a very good model to fix this thing and here on the right here on the right let's go and click on the paint layer or fill layer you add the layer and also go to base color but you can see in a small list on your left and click every every options base color normals and 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 so on but click on pasture over and over again with all the list let's go to normal again on pasture and high map and pasture so simple like that right now click on the stamp tool here in substance painter or clone tool um, on on the cases of, of, of substance painter I'm sorry but 
it's not like Photoshop or the major or the majority of illustration software. You need to use V. In the case of long V, just write right on the on on the C letter on your keyboard. Just press B, and holding B, you are going to click over the area you want to clone, you want to copy, and do the click. Okay, so this uh, rectangle of white and, 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 and black point is going to let you know where space are you cloning over the uh, seams in this case. So let's check this out. Substance Painter will use a very, a very nice algorithm to fix that. I mean, it's not perfect, but as soon as you start to paint using the clone stamp, you're going to check out that Substance Painter gets on the work and clean all the borders and make them blend very perfect very uh, uh, very great in this case of course so to increase the size of um, of the brush just um, click uh, press alt and left click and do that so I'm going to do that really often here in this small tutorial let's clean that and you are going to check out that it's really cool to do this because it's going to make you save a lot of time you know it's going to make you save a lot of time and won't make you spend hours cleaning and getting perfect uh, UV seams in this case we're talking about concept art because my main focus is in concept art because in the industry it's a little bit more complex to work for a game and films so but uh, return back so this UVs I made this on purpose because I wanted to show this up. I normally spend a couple of extra min extra minutes creating the UV maps to try to save to try to save time to uh, from fixing this problem. But if you get this this problem, this is the ultimate solution to get that working on to get that really great end win. So go on and make sure that you clean all over the maps. I'm doing this a little bit unprofessional, sorry for that, because I really want to save time right now on the tutorial, but I want to show up what this clone stamp can do, and this is all so far, but spend your time doing this so you can get a very great uh, object. So let's talk about maps projection right now. I used to, uh, like a couple of years ago or something like that, I used to bake maps from low poly using the low poly version or the low poly object, in this case the FBX, and then jumping or attaching the high poly on um, the texture settings here on, on Substance Painter and I always added the, the high poly um, object or the FBX, but I realized that it's not a good technique to get ambient occlusion and curvature maps because those two maps are crucial those two maps are one of the most important maps including normal maps of course because ambient occlusion is going to create that illusion on shadows and curvature is going to give you that beautiful um that uh, uh, that beautiful work or finish on on uh, when you're using using sorry uh, destroy materials and and stuff like that. So here I'm just using the the window of Substance Painter, the texture set to make the maps, and I'm going to show you up how looks the low poly versus the high poly. So my main point here is to get those maps opening the high poly FBX as soon as you can from Substance Painter. In this case, because in a normal software, you use low poly and high poly to get the bakes. So, talking about um, the uh, the baking it, I highly recommend to to go and put first of all the high poly object and bake that using the same high poly object uh, uh, object, but just focus on um, ambient occlusion and curvature map. Don't spend time getting normal maps and thickness and stuff like that because it's not going to give you the result so i use sample 8 on on here on the uh, substance painter window but here i'm going to show you what i what am i trying to mean it, it, it's a small i know that the difference is almost impossible to see but when it's about industry and that stuff 
you really need to pay attention to that you incredible I mean it's it's a bound so check out on the cavities how the cavities are a little bit pixelated but I have the the uh, here here I have the maps already project from the only high poly version it's a takes a little bit of extra time I know because you need to open on substance painter that high poly version do the maps for the high poly I highly recommend to get that from your low poly as soon as you finish that but um, I mean it's going to take from you extra time but the final result is crazy is beautiful crazy so but um, in the case of um, of the curvature you can see different stuff too so the more you get quality on the maps the more you are going to represent or do a very great product or a very, uh, very great model so check out here I'll drag and drop here just to check that out this tutorial is main focus to talk about techniques and theories how you can improve your um, your 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 way to do stuff to be more professional so check here these borders are way more sharpened than than the other it's, it's way more it's way more better and how we get the best maps ever so your high poly double click on your high poly I'm going to show up the technique really fast here as I can double click on that and make sure that you have the maps or click on out UV out on grab here in substance painter but I don't recommend that so wait if you have the maps wait and do that but technically um, working using the high poly is not productive as I say before it's not good because it's really heavy to show that up on a film or on a video game because it's going to take a lot of memory but the best result on maps you can get that from the mask and the and uh, sorry but from the maps um, from the mesh okay so here check check out that the mesh is really heavy it's really heavy and almost impossible to animate and get something cool and smooth and so I only left here curvature I mean occlusion I increased the anti-aliasing a per eight and now I make them smooth a little bit with these options and I press bake maps so I'm not going to uh, wait to to the bake because I have already the bakes so you, you you can check out the results right now here because I have already the maps so click on there and it's not there sorry okay click here on shelf go where you have your resource always make sure that you save them before jumping to the low poly version with substance painter and go to the session import but make sure that you define them on what they are okay on the maps so throw them there on the amino occlusion you can see the results it's incredible I, I I totally like it but it's it really worked for this morph uh, material and give you way more better curvature to represent a concept in this case or even even for films and video games this is a very good result to get really cool and smooth maps and I I, I recognize that some artists they use a Photoshop or illustration softwares to fix that and spend way more extra time than doing this but look here you can obtain you can get from it very cool maps and you can get amino occlusion and curvature so click here on amino occlusion and you can check out how smooth and clean it looks thanks a lot for spending your time here i really appreciate that you take your time to see this tutorial i'm trying to keep um uh, to keep the rhythm uh posting spanish tutorials in a post in English tutorials I don't do the English tutorials too often because um, you can find a lot of tutorials in, in in English language to learn tons of it so till the next tutorial thank you for spending the time here and my main meshes 
is that sometimes you can feel alone. I leave a link down here, chatbot link. And remember, the only food or the great food that you can give to your spirit comes from Jesus Christ. So, thanks a lot. Till the next tutorial, and bye.